Well, you may have seen a scam like it on the internet before. You're asked to wire someone who lives in a foreign country. Well, tonight that scam almost grabbed a national park woman. Jen, she was a savvy woman, though, yes. Almost got caught, but said, oh, something didn't look right. Yeah, I mean, we're yeah. talking about thousands of dollars here, and it's a lot of money to all of us, and particularly to the elderly. A lot of people preyed on that are older. The offers from Nigeria you might find on the Internet may be easy to spot as a scam, but what would you do if you were sent what appeared to be a real check in the mail? Cash it? Deposit it? Either way, it's tonight's What's Bugging You. Hi, this is Kimberly from National Park, New Jersey, and what's bugging me is this check. Kimberly liked the check at first, $4,500. Who wouldn't be happy? I mean, I was like, well, maybe this is the answer of all our dreams. Maybe this is the real thing. With the check, a letter. It said she won $450,000 in a Canadian lottery. Did you tell your kids that you got a check in the mail? Yeah. They were excited, thinking they're getting new bikes and new fishing rod. The check was an advance for taxes she would owe. All she needed to do was deposit the advance check into her account and wire part of that money to a Canadian tax agent. So they want you to send money to a tax agent, and then you'll get your money. Uh, UPS or whatever is going to come certified check. Turns out the check was a dud. Kimberly tried to cash it. She knew better than to deposit it. It's a scheme the postal inspector sees all the time. The point with the check is it takes seven to ten days for that check to clear. So meanwhile, the victim withdraws that money from their own bank account, wires it to the bad person, the bad guy, the perpetrator. They have their money, and the victim doesn't know they're a victim until seven or ten days later. The letters come from a variety of countries. Congratulations, you're a winner. And then the checks, they look so real. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. Kimberly didn't lose money, just some sleep, and now she has a simple request. To track all these things down that you can and catch these people, yeah. You think I can do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She has a lot of faith. We are going to help, but it is up to the postal inspectors to grab these crooks, and they need your help. If you get one of these letters, they want to hear from you. It is happening all over our area mm. all the time, hundreds every week. The information that you need is on our website, myfoxphilly.com. Keep the letter, yeah. but by all means, do not attempt to cash one of these checks. And the other thing that's important that I didn't know, mm -hmm. playing a lottery in a foreign country is illegal. So wow. a lot of people are becoming targets because they actually are playing the Canadian lottery, yeah, they a don't Spanish know lottery. Illegal. Well, we saw some shots of the check, but you actually saw it in person. It looks real. It looks wow. really real, and uh, the postal inspector said, you know what, Jen, you're just as gullible as some of these other people. A lot of the equipment you can get at Staples and some other office supply companies because businesses use checks. Good grief. Well, thank goodness she didn't get caught up. All right, thanks, Jen. Well, what's bugging you? Just log on to myfoxphilly.com. Scroll down to the bottom of our homepage. Jen, of course, wants to hear from you.